Hey, it's Mike from Mag Plus. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add multiple images into the B layer of your Mag Plus layout. So I've got here is a layout from Popular Science for the Megapixel section. Let's just take a look at this in the reviewer and see how it looks as it is now. Right now, it only has a single image on that B layer. So you'll see as I scroll the A layer up, when I get to the bottom of it, that's it. It's the end of the page. I can turn off that text and just look at that image. I can turn it and look at it in another direction and see those pinned elements. But I want to add a second image to this, and I want to use it to do a close-up of this really cool salt crystal that we're looking at here. Every time you want a new B layer image to appear, you create a new page in your InDesign document. So that's what I've done here, and I'm just going to grab that image and copy it into this second page. I'm going to center it here within my visible area. I'm going to back out a little bit because I really want to zoom in on this thing and, and really show people the close-up of, uh, of this cool salt crystal here. So I'm going to make this really big using, again, just the sort of standard InDesign tools that you'd normally use even in a print layout. That looks like a pretty good size. Let's just jump out now in the, in the reviewer and see how this is going to look. So you see it's instantly building that MIB, and it's going to transfer it over to the reviewer app here, and we'll be able to see what it looks like with this second image. Now when I scroll up, all of a sudden I get that second image sliding into that background behind the text there. But you'll see that that transition only happens when the bottom of that A layer crosses the halfway point of the screen. And that feels a little bit late to me. I'm not sure the reader is going to keep reading that long to, to really get that transition to happen. So I'm going to cheat a little bit here. And what I'm going to do is break up this A layer and take a little bit of it down to page 2 so that that transition happens sooner. Basically, whenever the system sees the bottom of the A layer is when it will trigger that new second page to come into view, both the A layer copy that's there and the image that's there on that B layer on page two. So if you want it to happen sooner, just make your A layer shorter. So I'm just taking part of this text box and I'm going to take that little link box as well. I'm going to paste them down here. And because I want this to be seamless between the, that text box on the top and bottom, I'm just going to paste that right against the very top of that second page. And you'll see when I do this, there won't be any visible break in that text box to the reader, especially if I go in and take a little bit of this border off at the top. Oops, let me do that right. There we go. So that looks like it's pretty much good to go. Now let's see how this is going to work. Again, the, the instant review capability in Mag Plus means you can just try things like this and then see how they're going to work. So now when I scroll up, you'll see there's no break where I've broken up that text box, and now that transition is happening much sooner. It's happening right where that break has occurred, when that crosses the halfway point, so that it's just more likely that the user is going to see that transition. Now there's one more thing I want to show you. You know how I described the way that the system would automatically calculate the bottom of that A layer and make the transition happen there? Well, there's a way you can actually force it to happen at a different spot. If I go up here into my Layers palette, you'll see a layer called Transition Guides. And I've already got one here at the top, so I'm just going to drag this down. Now, this works the way any InDesign guide would work, so you can just drag it out of the ruler. Wherever I put that, now that's the spot it's going to force the transition to happen. This is going to look a little ugly, but you'll see the point when I go out here in the Reviewer app. Now when I scroll up, there's that break. So what I've done is force that transition down a little bit beyond where that text ends, and that's the new end of the A layer and where that transition will happen. Lots of options to play with around this. Jump in and give it a shot.